What's going on everybody? Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I got another Vegas tutorial for you and this time I'm going to teach you how to make the Brooklyn Nine-Nine intro. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're going to be creating and if you want to create that, stick around. So we're going to be creating that intro and what that does is it takes some footage and then stops and then takes a still from that footage which is like the silhouette of the subject and then it colorizes the background and then it has text and a bar of color go across the screen and then it zooms in a couple times. So it's pretty simple to do, but it's a pretty cool intro and so I'm going to show you how to make it. In the end, your timeline is going to look something like this. We're going to have a lot of layers going on here and this is all going to be done through Vegas. So to start it off, let's go ahead and take this Brooklyn Nine and intro right here and we're going to move it over here. And this is the intro right here. I'm going to mute it and you see it just takes a still, color bar, name, and then that's what we're going to be creating. Let's go ahead and piece it up. So we're going to keep Jake Peralta's right there and then we're going to be going over Diaz right here. Right here, we're going to split the clip because this is where it starts. And then we're going to just going to count the frames. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 frames. We split again. So it's 15 frames of active footage. And here it zooms in for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It zooms in. So active footage slightly zoomed in still for five seconds and then we got color zoom in again and then from there we have our title and we have our bar so let's start off with the footage right here you want some footage of yourself or something and i'm going to be using the footage of my dog so i have some footage of i want to use the last frame right here that's the one i want to use of the dog i'm going to split the clip and then delete this Cut this, control X, and paste right here, because this is where the image starts. So the frame you want to cut out, you're going to want to take a screenshot up here, click it, and then you're going to name it whatever you want. We're going to name this Cookie Dog. Enter, and then I already have the cookie one here. This is from the example first, but all of a sudden Cookie Dog appears. So we use Cookie Dog, drag this down. So we're going to drag this back, and this is the 15 frames of video right there. And then we have the picture okay. and I have some color correction and stuff right here. So I'm going to drag this one frame up so it'll match because I took a screenshot with the color correction and I dragged the screenshot onto the same timeline with the color correction. It's going to double correct it and that's where you get this weird look. So bring it up and this is what it looks like. So then we're also going to split the clip right here. And then so this is where first is zoom in. So we scroll in and then we go to the crop tool. And then we bring that over here and let's make sure size about center is active and so is lock aspect ratio. And we're just gonna go in about that much. So that zooms in and then we gotta zoom in a little bit more. Do the crop tool of the second picture, zoom in even more and then we'll move it around to right there maybe. And I'll have it right here, bam. Here's a clip so far, play. See, it looks like it went a little bit too far because you see the background, so we're going to move it. You got to make sure this doesn't go past your picture, this left side of your crop. So we're going to move that to the right a little bit, and there we go. So we have bam, bam, bam. And so we don't need to mess with this picture, we just need to mess with this picture. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to open the crop tool again, but then we're going to start the mask down here. Check that. And then what we want to do, this is pretty important. You want to make this window as big as you can and you can zoom in a little bit because you want to get the whole thing in frame. You want to do this all in one go. And you don't even have to be too terribly accurate with it. So what you do is grab the pen tool and then you just make a silhouette of your subject. I'm going to fast forward this so you don't have to watch because this takes a little bit of time if you want to get it right. Okay, so once you're done cutting out your subject, what you can do, which is why you don't have to get it perfect, is that you can feather it. So we can go over here to feather type, click none, and then we're gonna do in. And then we click this number, click this little drop down, and we have a little slider bar, and we can slide it in. Let's move this a little off to the side. I have a couple monitors, so I'm gonna move it off to the side and just look at what the result will be. 
And I'm gonna drag the slider a little bit. I think a really good number I found was right here, 0.8. It looks really good, like a really nice cutout right there. So 0.8, now we have a perfectly cropped dog. So let's close that. And then what we're gonna do is duplicate this by holding control and then clicking and holding and then moving to a different part of the timeline. And we're gonna duplicate it up. So once we've done that, let's go to the first one we just made. And then we're gonna go to the crop tool, bring this back over here, right click anywhere in the masked area and do reset mask. And what that does is bring the background back. So we mute this track, we have no background. And if we unmute it, we have our background. So this is what we're gonna change the color of. So to do that, let's click and drag this clip up so we have a space in between the cutout and the background. And there, let's go to Media Generator and just do a solid color. And let's do blue, make it real easy. Bam, so now we got a blue background. If you click the little bar above the picture of the blue background, you'll see the opacity. And we drag that down, we could do right there. 57 looks pretty good to me. Let's trim this in here by dragging the edge and bringing it to the left. And now it's equal with everything here. So let's take a look again of what we got. That's looking good so far. So next, what we're gonna do is create the bar. So we mute the tracks. If we click the track over here on the left and then hold shift and then go down all the way to this track and then click again and then we click mute, all four of those tracks get muted. So we can now see this bar. So let's hold control and click the blue bar and then go up with it to another video track. And let's, we can keep the opacity a little bit low right now just so we can see. So our ultimate goal is to make this. See that bar coming in? That's what we wanna make. So it looks like the bar completely goes across the screen right about here. So an easy way of marking that is you can drag this back and then go into the crop menu. Let's bring it here. We can shrink this a little bit. Go to the edge and then do add keyframe right here with the green little plus. And now we have a keyframe right where the bar finishes its animation. So then we drag it back to the edge and now we open the crop tool again. We see right here. That's it. So its final location is there and we want to start messing with it. So I'm gonna drag this a little closer about there so we can see everything. So for the first frame, if we drag this off to the left and up, the animation goes like this. It comes in like that, which in turn looks like that. If I zoom out, I'll show you. I have it kind of a little top left of the menu itself, just because I want it to come in at an angle, because this is coming in at an angle right here. So that looks pretty good right there. And now we'll want to crop it down by masking it. So we click the mask, click here, and then we click a little square on the left. And then we drag and make a little thin rectangle. So that looks like about the same size, which is nice. Then we can move it down into position, something like that. If we move our mouse to where we see the little rotation, we can click that and rotate it. Drag it down a little more, and then there. So let's see what this looks like. That's really close. So we move this up, and we mute this bottom track, and we see, doom, doom, doom. So it looks like I may be a little too high on my crop menu up here. So we drag that down just a hair. That looks good. So it's going straight across and you're not seeing it move up or down. Perfect. So now we have our bar and then we have our dog and background. So we unmute all these tracks we can see. Nice. So next we're going to add the text. Easy peasy. We want to add the text right here on the left side, which I kept open. So we want to move our cursor to the beginning of our sequence and we're going to go to media generator and just drag and drop in some legacy text. Very simple to work with. Click anywhere in the middle where the bar has completed its animation, and then we're gonna go to the Media Generator tab. It opens up this, and we're gonna name it something. Let's go with Cookie. And then we wanna do the dog on a separate line itself. We wanna use separate text for that because it's gonna be doing a different animation in. And I'll show you because if we mute all these tracks and unmute the main one, we're gonna see the first text flies in, and the second text moves in. 
That's two different texts. So let's go back up and we want to mark when the text lands. So at the beginning we go one, two, three, four. So four frames in, the text is totally landed right there. And then one, two, three more is where the second text finishes. So we hold control on the first text, drag it up, copy the media, and drag it out. Now we have first text animation length, second text animation length, which is great. And let's go back and unmute just the cookie one. So we want to land it where we want it. So we go into crop menu for the first text, which is cookie. And then we go to the very edge and then we do a new keyframe. Then on the first keyframe, if we click it, we want to zoom in all the way. We can even go a little above it. Perfect. So we can extend this clip and it's going to keep our keyframe animation by dragging this all the way to the right. So if we go one, two, three, four, bam, that is good to go. So if we go back into the crop menu. What we do want to do is rotate it a little bit. So if we click the second keyframe and then rotate it a little, we'll see which looks good for us. That looks pretty good. We want to take note of that rotation, which it looks like it's a negative 5.4. So we click the first keyframe again. Then we go back up to here. We can just type negative 5.4 and now they're equal in the rotation, which is good. And so they're angled and they're not moving anywhere they shouldn't be, which is great. So now once we've done with the crop and the zoom, we go into the media generator and we can change the font. Let's uh, make that impact or something real close. So we got impact, which is awesome. And then we can do the effects, enable deformation right here. And then we click the drop down. We can do compress vertically and that brings it a little bit down squished. We don't have to worry about the italicized. You can mess with the font all you want later, but right now we're just getting the basics. So once we've done that, go to the placement tab, click on it and then start moving it down into place. That looks pretty good to me. So if we unmute and then click all these and unmute them. We got cookie and let's go back up here. You know what? We're going to mute the top one because we don't need that one just yet. We got cookie. Bam. So we can move that a little more. Maybe it doesn't have to be right there. So let's go with cookie. Awesome. So now we want to do the dog, which ends right here. Now, I may have copied this a little early, so I'm going to keep my cursor right there and then delete this track, hold control and drag this one up. And now we have the same font and angle, which is exactly what we need. And then we could drag the edge of our new copy all the way to the end of the animation that we're going to be copying. So this text one is the fly in text and this text one is the slide in text. So let's zoom in. Let's mute the first text since we're done with it. Unmute the second text and let's go into the media generator go to the placement and then we're going to go down a little bit. Now we can unmute the first text to see to get everything lined up. Now that it's out of the way, go back to clicking cookie right here in the placement and go up and we're going to rename it the dog. So we got that. So they're both flying in, which is definitely not what we want, but it's an easy fix. We want to go into the crop menu and we're going to drag this keyframe, which is our landing keyframe, which we like it right there all the way to the edge. And this first keyframe, we're going to delete it, which makes this not animate at all. It just stays right there. So then we go to our first keyframe again in the first position and we want to zoom out a little bit. Go over here to the left hand side and see the move freely option. Click on that. And once you got it to the left and right arrow, we're just going to click and drag this all the way off the screen right there. So we go to the beginning. It's flying in and then let's drag this edge of this text all the way to the end of our sequence, which is there. So let's take a look at what we got so far. Bam, cookie the dog. So we play it. Boom. So that is it for the animations. Now we want to add some motion blur. Now, I don't know if a lot of you know this, but Vegas does have its own motion blur. It's not as easy as other programs like After Effects where you can just click a button. This one you have to do a little bit of work, but it's not too bad. So if we click the beginning right here of our sequence where we want the motion blur to start. If we hold control then sh and hit shift and then hit B, it brings up the video bus track. And from here, what we want to do is scroll into our timeline a little bit and we want to click in an open area of your timeline and drag to where we want the animation to finish, which is right there. 
So once we've done that, if we right click on the left side here or even in the middle area, we can do insert remove envelope on the video bus track and do motion blur mount. And once we've done that, if we zoom in a little bit more, we can click with, with the selected part right here. If we click in the middle of it and drag it up, it auto creates entry and exit keyframes. And we're gonna put this right here at just one, very simple. And if we right click again and do insert remove envelope and then do video super sampling, it brings up an orange bar and we're gonna bring this all the way to the top. Now we're going to click this beginning of our sequence and we're going to drag these keyframes to where they only start right when this text starts. So you may have to move the super sampling line up a little bit and then click on the pink keyframe for the motion blur and snap it to the beginning and then snap the beginning of this super sampling to the bottom of the very beginning right there. So we'll go keyframe by keyframe and see what it looks like. So we have some motion blur. Now this motion blur works a little bit differently for everybody. You can play around with it and just figure out what works best for you, but I think this one looks pretty good. It's what you saw in the beginning video. If we hold Control, Shift, and B, it removes the video bus again, and we can see our whole project so far. And there we go. And so once you've added the motion blur, you are done. You have finished the actual intro simulation. So if we look at it one more time. And we're good to go. So the best part about this, if you want to do another picture of another silhouette, you can just click and hold control and copy the colors and the text and then hold control and drag them out to the side. And that creates a duplication of them. And then you can just change the text title and then the colors of all this and it'll be good to go automatically. And then all you gotta worry about is cutting out your silhouette and you'll be good to go. So that's wrapping it up for this video. If you liked it, be sure to do like and subscribe. That'll help me out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Just a heads up, these are my current patrons. They all support me for a dollar a month. It's very cheap, and you can too. And don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell notification next to the subscribe button, because that notifies you whenever I pump out a new video. And if you're the first person to comment on the video, you get a special shout out in my next video. So thanks again for watching.